For many, simply mentioning the phrase macro causes fear and trepidation. Relax, this one is going to be easy. In this tip, you will learn how to record a simple macro in Excel to insert custom print headers and footers into your workbooks, alleviating you from wasting time on this rather tedious task. There are 10 simple steps to recording this macro. Step 1, open a blank workbook in Excel. Step 2, from the View tab of the ribbon, click the drop-down arrow underneath the Macros icon and choose Record Macro. This opens, as you can see, the Record Macro dialog box. Step 3, in the Record Macro dialog box, Enter a name such as print header and footer, leave the shortcut key option blank, accept the default setting of storing the macro in your personal macro workbook, and enter a short descriptive phrase describing the purpose of the macro in the description box. When you have completed these steps, your record macro dialog box should appear similar to that currently pictured on the screen. Step 4. Click OK to close the Record Macro dialog box. At this point, the macro recorder is now recording all of your keystrokes. Step 5. Open the Page Setup dialog box by clicking the dialog launcher in the lower right corner of the Page Setup group on the Page Layout tab of the ribbon. Step 6. In the Page Setup dialog box, click the header and footer tab. Step 7. Click custom header and then enter any desired settings for your custom print header. Once you have added all of your header settings, click OK to accept them. Step 8. Click custom footer and enter any desired settings for your custom print footer. Upon completing this step, click OK and your page setup dialog box might resemble that currently shown on the screen. Step 9, click OK to close the Page Setup dialog box. Step 10, and this is the last step, return to the View tab of the ribbon, click the drop-down arrow underneath the Macros icon, and click Stop Recording to turn off the Macro Recorder. That's all there is to it. You have now recorded a macro that will insert your custom print header and footer into any workbook you create. To run this macro, select View Macros from the drop-down arrow underneath the Macros icon on the View tab of the ribbon, and then click Run. And what you will find if you return to the Page Layout tab of the ribbon and observe the print headers and the print footers is that all of your print settings have been inserted into this workbook. Yes, writing the Visual Basic code for macros can be a long and challenging process. However, it can also be a very short exercise when you use Excel's Macro Recorder feature to do the heavy lifting for you. By following 10 simple steps, you can write a very powerful macro that automates an otherwise time-consuming task in Excel, that is, adding custom print headers and footers to your workbooks. Don't be afraid. Give it a shot today. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.